Hey everyone, I'm Megan Trainer, and you're hanging with J14. Oh yeah, okay, this is Daryl and I. We're, we must have been like months into dating. No, like weeks into dating. This was fresh. So I, I dated him for like six days and then I went on that tour, um, the Untouchable tour, yes. Um, this is for my second album, thank you. And uh, we started dating and I was like, do you wanna come visit me on, on the road? And I flew him out, he said yes. And then I never let him leave. And that was a picture of him like <laughs> stuck with me. <laughs> I was like, you're my boyfriend now. And I think this was one of the first pictures that we posted to the world to be like, we're dating. And we were like, it's over now. The world's going to blow up. Nobody cared. Nobody said a single thing. I was like, maybe they don't get it. Like we're together. <laughs> so announcing our relationship. Oh, Lord. Yep. That's my dad. What is this? Okay, this is my dad trying to be cool. Uh, you guys dug deep. This was like my third post ever, I think. Look at the filtering I did. Oh, what a choice of the contrast. Um, yes, this was in Jewel the Isle, which is the hat he's representing. Um, that was his logo for his jewelry store. And he was trying to be really, really cool. And I took a pic and I was so proud and I posted it. And yikes, isn't he cute? Look at this picture. He's red as a lobster. Oh, see, this is the day. This is the day that I knew I was going to get to hang out with Jojo Siwa. Why did I get to hang out with her? Because I did an, a YouTube with her. We did like um, carpool in her car and sang, and she interviewed me and we sang my songs. And she, it was the best day ever. And I told my glam, I was like, make me Jojo Siwa. And they crushed it, obviously. And <laughs> I was like, please take pictures of me. My cousins also, I have younger cousins and they never thought I was cool until I met Jojo Siwa. So that was, that was the first coolest thing ever. Oh, I love this picture so much. So this was my second tour ever. I'm not good at touring, as you can see. I, uh, <laughs> I was exhausted. I was in my onesie. That was my theme for a summer tour, mistake mistake is hot i was wearing those onesies but i committed every single tour every single sound check i was in those hot onesies sweating um and this was after a show and that was my tour manager picking me up because i was so exhausted and someone captured that beautiful moment that's britain so this picture was um taken the day we recorded wave at Mike Sabbath. He's an amazing producer. He's gonna blow up, everyone will know his name, and artist. Uh, we recorded this at Mike Sabbath's place, and it's one of those songs that I'm the most proud of. Like if someone's like, what's your music? I'd be like, this song, Wave. Um, because it was, it's like so simple, but so complex, and makes you feel everything. It starts with an epic battle, an epic battle, an epic ballad, that rips your heart out and then it goes into a club banger and it's very hard to do that so i was very proud um and it was written off a true story of an ex romance and that was my ultimate big revenge was this great song all right thank you all so much for watching j14 i love you don't forget that you can glow up your phone with verizon all you have to do is hand it an old phone and they're going to give you a new 5g phone and sign up for their unlimited plans. They're amazing.